everyone, it's Sam here on the Craft Stash channel and today I'm excited to kickstart the very first Craft Stash and Friends YouTube hop. So this is something that I've put together and I have invited other creators from the UK who have YouTube channels. Ones with smaller and growing channels is what we're kind of focusing on and we invited them to this hop to basically share what they make with you all. So hopefully there will be some new people in this hop that you've never seen before. So you will see the list of everybody taking part in the description box below this video. And there will also be a link at the end, which will take you to the Craft Stash homepage where you'll see everybody listed. And just like our other hops, we encourage you to, at the end of this video, hop to the next video and watch their content, give them a like, subscribe to them, and then continue again on to the next one until you come all the way back around again to Craft Stash. I really enjoy doing the YouTube hops and it's been really nice putting this one together and uh, yeah, hopefully, like I said, introducing you to some new creators. Like with all the hops, we offer a fantastic discount. So all of this product, like I said, is on the Craft Stash homepage. You'll find that linked below and also at the end of the video. It will take you to all of the product that's been featured today where you can enjoy the discount. VIPs, you will get to enjoy your discount on top of that. And if you're not a VIP, please sign up. It's $9.99 for the year. You will get your money back very quickly in the discounts that you will receive. It also entitles you to sneak peeks. You get first look at sales. You get access to the hub where you'll have exclusive video content. It's really lovely. Check out the reviews. They just say it all as well. So people really enjoy being a Craft Stash VIP. And make sure you check out the Craft Stash website. There are thousands and thousands of wonderful products over there. So there's something for everybody, which is also what this hops about because each of these creators will offer something different. Scrapbooking, 3D makes, memory keeping, they all share something different. So Although you'll be watching the hop video, have a look back at some of their previous videos as well so you can get an idea on the content that they share. Okay, so that is the introduction done. I am going to start off the hop with this fun fold card. I'm using the wonderful festive Paddington or Christmas Paddington, I think it is. And I've put together this kind of tower style card. You don't need any dies to make this one. You can see when it opens up there, you have this really wonderful shape showing off those gorgeous papers. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So this is all of that wonderful Paddington Christmas or Paddington at Christmas collection that I'm using. And this is what's on offer. So check out the links, like I said, to enjoy your discounts on this one. So you get your washi strips, your 8x8 paper pad, two stamp sets, and you get your ephemera. Now this one here, I wanted to do two cards. So this one, I have just used what's in the paper pad. So the topper, you can cut out from your topper sheets here and you can see all of the different papers there and it would also be lovely with one of the ephemeras on top as well so again if you don't have any die machines and stamping like tools and things like that and you just like to use your paper collections you can see how lovely a topper would look on that as well so I thought I'd make that one and show you just using kind of these pieces but the next card I'm going to make is it going to have the papers in the blues that I'm going to use and I'm going to use it with one of the stamps from the sets here. We're going to emboss that. For the envelopes, I've used the washi tape here. So I've just taken a couple of the strips there and just decorated my envelope and I'm going to use the blue ones to decorate um, this card that I'm going to make. For the cardstock, I use the new Imperial Red from the Essential Cardstock by Creative Craft Products. Really, really lovely Christmas red, that one. And then I'm using our white super smooth. This is the 300 GSM pack. You get 100 sheets, really lovely cardstock. And that's what I'm using today. Okay, so really easy scoring for this one. So you want a piece of 11 by seven inch cardstock and you're gonna score at one and a half and three and then eight and nine and a half. Okay, you wanna fold and burnish those score lines. Next, you want to fold it over so you've got these two facing you, okay? Pop it then along the seven inch side and you're going to score at one and three quarters just down to the first score line. Then at three and a half, again, down to the first score line and then at five and a quarter, again, down to the first score line. So these are our cut lines and then you want to do the same with this end. So again, you're just folding over so these two are facing you and again, you're going to score at one and three quarters just down to the first score line three and a half and five and a quarter. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Okay, so keep it folded and we'll work with that one that we've just done. You want to turn it so that the fold is facing you and you're now gonna cut down each of those score lines again, just to that first score line. And you're gonna cut through both pieces of card. Okay, like so. And then again, I'm gonna fold that one over, turn it around and just do the same. 
Okay, so now if we open it up, we want to add a few score lines in. So I'm just going to grab my scoreboard again. And I'm going to score at four and a half down to that cut line. And then at six and a half down to the cut line. You're then going to miss the second kind of portion. So this part here. And then you just want to do the score lines again. So you're just joining up the ends of those cut lines. They should sit nicely into the tracks, like so. Okay, so it's just on the top, miss the middle, and then it'd be on that third section and then miss the bottom. Okay, so now we can fold it into shapes. So the top ones, you just wanna now just fold where you've done those score lines. So they are mountains and then these will be valleys. Okay, and then you can do the same with this one. So just pop them away from you, just pinch the sides there. Again with that one, like so. And now you can fold it all underneath each other and it will give you your five by seven card size there. And that's the card shape. So now it's to decorate. So lots of mats and layers. Now there's a few ways to decorate this. You could have your panels running vertically. I've done mine running horizontal. So for example, this one's gonna go right down through the middle, but you could have a little square up in this part and then you could have one that way and maybe you've got a sentiment that you want to stamp so it is going to you know vary for for everyone but if you want to do it the same way that I have I'll just show you these ones here so I've used the border paper in the blue to go on each side which I thought worked really well like so these ones here you'll want two pieces that are one and a quarter by six and three quarters and then one by six and a half this middle section is one and three quarter by six and three quarter, and then one and a half by six and a half. So I'm gonna stick those ones down first of all. So I'm just gonna lay that out because it's a little bit easier then for you to see all these other pieces. So you'll now have 12 of these kind of rectangles. You might not want to decorate them all, but again, if you're doing it like me, then you'll want 12 pieces that are one and a quarter by one and a half, and then one by one and a quarter. So I've used the snowfall design now, and you'll see they will sit very nicely in all of these sections. Oh, and I am obviously didn't do my maths because I'm a little bit short, so I'm going to cut the rest of those and get this all stuck down. Okay, so that's everything stuck down and you can see already that lovely fun fold that we've got there. So next I want to do some heat embossing. So I've cut myself an oval and I've got this nested die. This is the Creative Craft Products filigree. I cut it in white as well and then I just trimmed off the design so that I can go over the top with that lovely frame around it. And I think because this one's got all the snowflakes on, I'm going to use the... I think this one here, have a very merry Christmas and I'm going to heat emboss this in silver. So I'm going to place down the oval one there and this should fit. I didn't actually check it before, but <laughs> yeah, that's just right. So pick that one up and then I'm just going to use my anti-static Buddy, all of these tools that I'm using are all available on the website, even the little pouch here with your powder in. This will just make sure that the, or the powder when I place, when I sprinkle it on, will only attach to where I've stamped the image and nowhere else. So now I'm gonna use my Versamark ink here. So this is just a watermark ink. So you may see this pick up in the camera. You'll be able to see it in person when you lay it down. usually hold it up to the light you'll be able to see it so I can just see there that that's stamped nicely and then I've just got my silver embossing powder here I'm just going to sprinkle that all over give it a tap and I can just wipe away any little bits there that may have just still attached themselves but there we go I think that looks really nice next I'm going to get this heat set so I always like to just turn my heat gun on and just let it run for about 30 seconds and then I'll apply it to the cardstock 
Okay, so now when that catches the light, you can see that gorgeous embossed image. I'm going to pop some foam pads on the back of this and attach it to the silver piece. Okay, so now we can place this down in the centre of the card. It's up to you. You know, it doesn't have to be an oval shape. It could be, you know, just a rectangle like I've used there. You could have maybe a couple of squares, circles. But this one, I'm going to have it pretty much in the middle there. I think that looks really nice. And again, I'm going to add some foam. I always like to add dimension to my cards. You can always pop this in a box envelope if you would prefer. I'm just going to run that down through the middle there. There we go. And then like I've done with this one, I'll just bring it over. We're going to decorate the envelope. So I've got my five by seven shop bought envelope and it fits inside. I've You saw me, you know, take that one out at the start. And then I'm going to use the coordinating strips for this one. So I think we go, it'd be nice to have the sentiment because I like that one there where it says have a very, very Christmas. So this one will have let it snow. And then the snowflake design, I think, running just above it. And I'll just trim off the excess there from the back. So I'll just bring this up a little bit closer so you can see the finished card there. I think it's wonderful. Really, really lovely. And when I do go to write in these cards, because I always do use and send off the cards that I share, I will be adding a wax seal onto that one as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun fold card from me today and the kickstart of our brand new hop series, Craft Stash and Friends. So as I said at the start, all of the information will be linked below this video, but you'll also be able to go to the homepage here. You'll find all of the product and everybody that that is participating and the discounts that you can have off of the product will all be there. Make sure you subscribe to this Craft Stash channel and that way you won't miss out on any future hops and all the inspirational videos that we share. Click on this video here and it will take you to the next video, but they are running every hour. So if you're here at 7am when this video goes live, you will have to wait, but the next creative video will pop up here. So you can just click on that one next. So like I said, enjoy the hop. Do go and watch all of the creators. Give them a like, subscribe, show them some support. And hopefully we've introduced you to some new creators. And I'm already looking forward to doing the next ones and sharing some more wonderful talent with everybody. See you all again soon. Take care. Bye.